In this episode of uh, Core Web Vital, we will learn how to reduce initial server response time. So as you can see, I've been running auditing on webby.com and we are increasing in our performances as you can see here. And there is a reduced initial server response time error also. So it di directly impacts on your page speed. So as you can see, there's a page speed of 1.2 seven seconds so as it says keep the server response time for the main document short because all other requests depends on it there are actually many things you can do to reduce initial server response time but first thing first is it depends on your hosting server so where your site has been hosted if you have a website that gets millions of uh, users on your pages or you have a traffic that is around from 5000 to 20000 then your site may need a dedicated resources you should ditch that shared hosting and go for the dedicated server so there are actually many marketplaces available out there you can find any which suits your best but i personally feel for any website amazon aws works the best so those ec2 servers are the best for this but it is very costly but if you want only a monthly rental for the fixed server you can go for any server from the Hersner or OVH there are the cheapest option available there so even off of this chat let's learn how you can actually reduce initial server response time so see it says keep the response time for the main document because all other requests depend on it first is as I've said it should be your hosting server so if you have a shared hosting be start migrating to the vps or even a dedicated server where you can get dedicated resources and the second is there are multiple methods you can actually perform like for my website like for my website webby.com if i see the view page source section first thing you need to do is minify your javascript or css files as i can see there is a cdn of a normalize.css and if i open it it is not being minified so that can serve or save a lot of resources for my page and if you want to see the weight of your page you can just click on right click on it click on the inspect element and here you can click on the network just reload again to let it start downloading your resources so as you can see there are 3.5 mbs of out of 5.7 mbs resources are there so i suggest you to keep it as low as possible but if you see there only 1.6 kb has been transferred per for 43 kbps so you can actually see the weight of a page so first thing is keep it as low as you can get or you can just enable it with the cdn services so that will be the later part of the video as you can see here disk cache disk cache that means that's a part of the cache data so you may not be getting any first contextual paint data so there's a disk cache and this is about the real data that has been downloaded which is about 143 kb which is being transferred so here when i click on right click on it and if we see my css file if it is minimized or not as you can see it is not minimized and how to minimize it you can go to webby.com go to the seo tool section click ctrl plus f search for the minifier and here is the css minifier what you can do is you can either upload that or you can just copy your code like this of my css and click on submit so and after the click on submit as you can see the compressed file is 2 kb only the original file was 19 kb so it has reduced to 90 percent so consider minify your all files right here so i have been deminify it using a software so i have been minifying it for you okay so there is the css file that has may not minify and do rename that css file with this dot main dot css to let it denotify that such that if you have a designer or a developer that be editing your website then they can easily detect this as being minified just by seeing the file right there and there's also a one file which is new main.css and this is also not minified if i copy this and paste it try new css document and paste that and click on submit and as you can see it has also saved me about 23 kb which is around 12 percent of my file so either you can just upload your file if your file size limit is above 1 mb or up to 2 mb you can just choose the file and it will start compressing your css files right there so that's how you can easily does do the minify your css file and if you are using a javascript file you can also minify that as you can see there's a jquery 
been linked to my script you can this is already been minified just like that what is the minification or minifying why you need to minify or what does minify do it delete all the spaces in between okay it will delete all these spaces in between which will reduce the file size of your static files so you can just link or everything to the minify and just minify every script files either it is css or javascript you can easily minify the same or if you are having a custom code like this okay if you have a custom code like this just being there on your website just copy that and minify it and create a javascript file and upload it or link it to your server and so that's how you can minify or just well. next thing is you can do is you can add a cdn services to your website so there's a multiple static files out there as you can see there is a javascript files i've been using i've been using a css file so if you are non wordpress user then you can use any cdn services out there i use bunny.net which is i think the best which works for me so i have what i am doing is if i go to bunny.net i have been hosting some of my static files if i just log into it so here is batwind uses up to 1 gb and for the today and it is request served about 27000 and cache hi3 rate was 72% if i go to the storage uh, zones of my bunny.net and there you will see there has been multiple css file has been linked not only css file there is also a font and images that has been uploaded to this cdn services such that i won't be needing on my server so it will reduce the server response time so you should start using cdn services bunny.net and if you want me to create a video how to configure bunny.net for your non wordpress website then you can request in the description box i will create another video for you but for this part you can follow the link in the description and start using bunny.net i think this is the best cdn services i have been using for my website it also has an option for pay as you go so how many serves you get and how many billing you get you will have to pay only that much amount not any monthly subscription so you can use this for your website easily so there's a pull you need to create a pull zone after you need to connect your pull zone to your storage upload that storage and boom you are there so if you want me to create a video i will just create it just request in the com comment box so that's how you can first uh, minify your css and javascript file and the next part you can add it as a static file to your cdn server and you can link on your header and a footer as you can see there are the files that has been linked just like this so if you are not familiar with search tools then you can just uh, contact any web designer or you can just contact us by the link in the description box we will do it for you as a services so that's how you can actually reduce initial server response time and if you are wordpress user then you have one answer to it wp rocket why let me tell you the result of my main page and the blog page as you can see the result of my blog page is 92 performance so this is the page speed insight so 92 is a higher number for a good traffic website as you can see this so why i'm showing only the blog section here because in the blog section i have been installed wp rocket plugin which enables the greatest performance for my website and loads instantly and if i let you compare to my webby.com which is hosted on the custom php script with no customization has been done let me tell you the shocking result here without any cdn services without anything i'm just showing for the demonstration purpose so there you go the performance is pretty bad here which is around 51 and as you can see the largest context print is good but the first is around two seconds and as you can see the, it takes much time to get it on here and reduce initial server response time is one of the factors that has been impacting on my page speed and for the wp rocket part on your wordpress website just use this file optimization minify css combine css file which i like the most because if you have a multiple CSS files, you can just combine it to one. It will take lesser time or lesser HTTP request to load your website. Optimize CSS delivery, obviously, it will optimize your render blocking CSS. So you won't have that error also. And remove unused CSS, which is in the beta version. But you should do it without any error. And here's the JavaScript file. JavaScript, you can combine JavaScript, but I don't recommend you to do this because it may crash your website. If it does, then just remove it. And there is a mini five JavaScript files. You can also do that easily 
load javascript effort which we have done in the previous video and that's how you can optimize your file and obviously there's a cache option here and if i will be doing the review of this particular plugin but there's only a one answer for you which is wp rocket for your wordpress user start using it and it will impact in a green zone of your website so you will have a lesser contextual pain lesser first contextual pain so i like i've done previously the performance is way way good so if i do it on the major part let me tell you the result which is i think the best out there so there you go you can see the performance of uh, 91 so i think that's pretty good for a good traffic website so that's about it that's how you can reduce your initial service response time by following these steps and if you want our services then you can follow in the link in the description box where you will find our services for this same so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please click that right button it will boost our morale to post more and more videos like this and if you like this video do click the like button if you want to share this video to your friend colleague or your co-worker then you can use the share button so see you in the next video of core web vital until then, bye-bye.